Now we come to implication. The gospel is just words on a page unless it means something for how we live. Old James taught us well that faith without works is dead. This is why the discipleship pathway is so very important for us now. The gospel has tremendous implications for how we live. Our Christian preaching and teaching is most concerned with what it means to live this gospel in the world. Christians often differ on the finer points of implication of the gospel. Usually, we're able to agree to disagree without setting the church on fire. However, there are some major differences which we ought to consider. And to be fair, I'm using a little hyperbole or gross exaggeration to make a point here. In some places, the gospel is your key to getting out of here, to going to heaven, to avoiding suffering and pain, to staying out of hell. Really, church is just about believing this gospel, doing churchy things, and just staying out of trouble until Jesus comes back and or you die. I could be wrong, but that notion of gospel misses the mark big time. I think, I do think heaven is real. I think hell is real. I also believe that God's new creation is unfolding all around us and God's gospel makes us a part of it in the here and now. It is not an escapist pie in the sky when you die kind of a thing. That's not what it is. Now, shifting gears, in other places, the gospel of Jesus is an intellectual framework through which you are invited to see the world. We are invited to study the life and teachings of Jesus and to see how they might shape our way of being in the world. Jesus was a great teacher, and he is to be admired and followed. The spiritual dimension in this way of thinking, the spiritual dimension of life is real, but not nearly as important as the practical, physical dimension of life. Things like worship and prayer belong to an earlier, less enlightened time when magical thinking was more prevalent. I could be wrong again, but I think this notion of gospel misses the mark as well. Certainly the gospel must shape how we live every single day, but we are shaped from the inside out. That spiritual dimension of life is the starting place of that shaping for most of us. Worship and prayer are two practices of faith whereby we are placed squarely in the presence of a God who is as much at work within as he is without. In my mind, any consideration of the implications of the gospel must integrate every aspect of our lives because the gospel touches every aspect of our lives in the here and now and in the far away forever. With all this in mind, the discipleship pathway offers the following statement about the implications of the gospel. It's on your worksheet. Listen carefully and be prepared to discuss it with the people around you. This is straight from the discipleship pathway. In this gospel, Jesus is turning the world upside down. He insists that all people stand equally before God, equally loved and equally saved from sin and death by his own work. Jesus also insists that this equality be lived out in our treatment of each other socially, economically and politically. Because of this, our relationships with power, money, security, and comfort are radically transformed as we learn to live from the security of God's grace, helping God set the world free from our addiction to power, money, and comfort. It is messy, difficult, and sometimes even painful work, but it is worth it because we get to spend every day at the side of Jesus doing work that is making a real difference in the lives of others and in our own lives. That work and all of Christian discipleship is an ongoing process. By choosing to become disciples, we are committing to a lifelong journey where we live out our shared understanding of the gospel as best as we can. As we do so, we continue to learn more about God and ourselves while engaging with, serving next to, and questioning, questioning alongside others. Consequently, our faith continues to deepen and expand as we live out the good news of Jesus. Wait just a moment, I missed a word here. I want to repeat that last paragraph. I missed something very important. 
that work and all of Christian discipleship is an ongoing process. By choosing to become disciples, we are committing to a lifelong journey where we live out our shared understanding of the gospel as best as we can. The Holy Spirit empowers and equips us to live out the gospel ever better as we grow in our new life. As we do so, we continue to learn more about God and ourselves while engaging with, serving next to, and questioning, questioning alongside others. Consequently, our faith continues to deepen and expand as we live out the good news of Jesus. You'll close out your time together today with a few moments to reflect on what you've just heard. Your facilitator will guide you through a couple of questions. And these two paragraphs that I just uh, read to you uh, may be found on your handout or in your copy of the Discipleship Pathway. I've had a great time with you today. I look forward to next week together. Thank you.